okay so let's move on to class meantime they will join <coughs> so last class we had discussed about what is uh, you know right uh, docker instructions and uh, so mostly what is cmd what is entry point already we see right today we'll see that continuation can you see my screen yeah okay. yes okay so now yesterday we discussed what is difference between cmd and entry point i hope you got some idea right <coughs> so anyone any doubt so now almost you know docker instructions so what are those and uh, what is the purpose how to use it okay so now what is from is nothing but base image maintainer run run means if you want to execute any command uh, go for run and also what is maintainer copy if you want to copy files from source to container host file to container copy if you want to download if you want to copy we can use add and also if you want to download from any any remote server and if you want to extract that and all extra activities uh, we, so we should go for add and also run means execute the commands and uh, so add copy all this it are executing while creating the image only while creating the image run also while creating the image execute the commands and execute while creating the image only and also yesterday we discussed right a cmd and entry point cmd and entry point both are executing while creating the creating a while creating containers while creating container only not image okay and uh, so there is two ways we can pass right there is shell form or executable form whichever compatible we can pass like this whichever you are compatible we can pass and today we will see entry uh, what is this env and uh, so variables and uh, root user and all we will see now come to here now, now go to here Starting starter okay now so switch to root user switch to root user control plus plus so, root user sudo sudo iphone i sudo iphone i okay now so docker images so docker images okay now <coughs> so there is two more uh, so mostly arg so arg arguments and env env in uh, so docker file env in uh, docker file so env in docker file if you go here env in docker file so if you go docker references so there is a env env means uh, set environment variables so if you want to set any environment variable if you want to set any environment variable we should go for a env environment variable and the same way there is arguments arg see here you use build time variables so arguments arguments means we can pass any arguments we can pass arg instruction defines variables variables means we are passing key and value pair we are passing a key and value pair so the mostly arguments nothing but uh, we are passing key and value right we are passing key equal to value key and value format key and value means left side for example you name here i am passing also devops so here you name is the key and devops is the value so arguments and all arguments and all we are passing key and value format see here instead if a user can define the variables that is a variable name and value variable name and value so if you want to we can pass at build time at build time to the builder uh, with the so docker build commands using the iphone hyphen, hyphen build rg and value name we are passing so in docker file already i declare some arguments already i de define some variables in docker file already i define some variables already in docker file i, I already in docker file i define some variables in run time while creating image while creating image while creating image so if you want to override see here 
where is this ARG right go back so this is the ARG see here so pass build time to the builder if you want to variable that user can pass at build time build means uh, so while we are running build uh, if you want to while creating the image uh, while creating the image if you want to if you want to pass uh, if you want to set uh, any arguments any arguments uh, so that case you should go for uh, so arg so this is the syntax so this is the syntax so generally if you want to create uh, image docker build docker build docker build iphone t you know right uh, so image name and tag name image name tag name and uh, so we are passing uh, so that docker file and iphone iphone build iphone org arg and uh, so whatever username if you want to overwrite if you want to overwrite and uh, so uh, that case you can go for uh, this is the while creating build command while creating build command now how it will work we see this is very simple only that's it so arguments inter defines the variables that user can pass at build time. If you want to override build time, that case we could go, go for ARG. So ARG, see here, ARG user one, ARG build number, whatever you want, user one equal to some user name, build number equal to some build number I am passing. And uh, so if you want to, if you want to override that while running the build, so Docker build, iPhone iPhone, Docker build, iPhone iPhone, and uh, so arguments uh, whichever you want to overwrite so that and all we can pass it count underscore already they given version 1.0 and if they want to update if they want to update and uh, so iphone iphone build iphone arg and we can 2.0 if you want to update that version and all we go for this one we go for this one and same way env env means environment variables see env instruction set environment variables same this is also key to the value this is also we are passing uh, so key and value this is also we are passing key and value this value will be in the environment for all subsequent instructions in the build stage build stage the value will be interrupted for the other environment variables and uh, so these all are if you want to check uh, while creating the container and that case we can check all these things see env instructions allows to multiple key values and so if you want to update so if you want to update this is the syntax while running the container iphone iphone env key equal to value iphone iphone env key equal this is en iphone iphone env means environment variable if you want to update any environment variable iphone iphone env if you want to update any uh, arguments value iphone iphone build iphone arg arguments and so that value whatever you want we can update it so these are very simple only and so user user means generally if you want to set any user there is one more instruction so user also is there user means which user you want to trigger which user you want to build which user you want to run so that case we can use so set the user also set the user also if you want to we can set the user also if you want to we can set the user also so now come to here cat space docker file cat space or docker file now if you observe here va va docker va so docker file va docker file insert what is uh, swap edit okay now see here so this and all already you know from here which is your base image and which is maintainer here arguments arg equal to we are giving anything tag name some build number tag name some build number whatever you want we can set it so whatever you want we can set it arguments equal to here i am passing same arguments equal to whatever we are here just now we see right so that way we can pass anything now if we go here arguments so like this we can pass user equal to our build number equal to so we can pass uppercase or we can pass lowercase whatever you want we can set it so for example here this is my tag name this is my tag name tag name equal to whatever so my tag name equal to so this is the so uh, tag name so uh, uh, for example i am using uh, uh, apps okay 
and uh, so if you want to print uh, so we can use this is the echo already you know right what is the purpose of echo if you want to print anything so just whether it is printing or not just i am checking so run run means run is executing any command echo just uh, give this a key this is a key and this is a value this is a key and this is a value right so this is a key and this is a value left side is nothing but key and this is a value and if you want to print same environment variable env underscore name now we can pass environment production or environment stage or environment testing phase or environment equal to there is many environments right so suppose if you want to set anything and so we can use env we can use env this is the arguments these are the arguments arg under the arg if you declare anything these all are the arguments and same way and uh, so if you want to declare if you declare env env means same c env also c env my name equal to something they set something or is equal my car something they set and if you want so while creating the container we can see how this value will coming and how it will display so now see here like this arguments we can pa we can declare any arguments whatever you want we can pass it for example build number for example arg arg build arg build build number build number so here i am using uh, so v1 uh, version 1 uh, 1.0 so next release if you want to change uh, we can change it if you want to update the version number we can update uh, this is the tag name dev apps uh, this is the tag name environment name env name production or environment name stage uh, or environment name whatever you want we can say just declaration only see here these are the arguments i declare two arguments so if you want to next release i want to update this version number for example current release i am using version 1.0 and the next release i want to update this version so that case uh, how we are updating this is the syntax iphone iphone build iphone arg and uh, so what is that name here i given build number equal to one build number equal to build number equal to 2.0 or 1.1 build number equal to v1 v1.1 i am adding like that okay now got it guys anyone any doubt here so how like this we can declare any arguments whatever you want we can pass it some of common build version numbers and what are the tags we are using and which purpose we are using that and all we can declare the arg but these all are executing while creating the image only while creating the image only so while creating the image arguments and all we are executing build time build means when we are using docker build this is a creating a container or creating image docker build build means creating the image only image yes. time while creating image only we are we are uh, so passing these arguments these arguments now see how it will work here i declared two arguments if you want to we can print uh, anything whatever so if you want to run echo run echo dollar and uh, so what are the name so this is the key build number build number that's it so build number so now i declare two arguments and just i printed i declare one environment variable production i declare i print that environment variable so now up see escape colon x okay so docker images okay so how to remove all images guys anyone help me i want to remove there is many these are the some of dangling images so enter also they are asking so docker images these are the dangling image what is dangling image first we'll see uh, anyway we, we can see some image right we don't have tag number we don't have tag we don't have image name so this image is nothing but a dangling image now see here what is dangling image dan dangling image in docker dangling images images in docker okay so dangling images are untagged docker images do we have any tag these images guys do we have any tag for these images no right so these these four are the dangling images 
So one guy asked, what is a dangling image? Which image doesn't have tag number? That image is nothing but uh, not associated with any container. And uh, so with the help, this container, using this, con sorry, using this image, using this image, did I create any container? No, we cannot. Okay, this is not, this is not C associated with any container. This is not associated with any container and which image don't have any, you know, right tag. That is image is nothing but dangling images, dangling images. And uh, so, so if anyone is asking, uh, so generally every image have repository name and tag name. But if you observe here, if you observe here, these are the dangling images. These are the dangling images. This images is not associated with any container. This image is not associated with any containers. Now got it. See here, they are created when they are overwriting with the new image with the same name and uh, tag. Uh, when we can create dangling image, uh, so for example, already I given one name, the repository name. Again, I am using, uh, so I am using some tag number. While creating the image, if I give same repository name, same tag name, and that case it will create dangling images. Clear? Anyone any doubt here? So what is dangling image? Which image doesn't have untagged? So which, which image don't have tag and don't have image name? That image mostly with, which is not have tag. That is nothing but dangling image. So when will it create? Uh, so they are creating when they are overwritten. When they are overwritten with the new image new image with the same name and same tag number so that case mostly it will create dangling images mostly it will create dangling images that's it anyway we cover how to remove all these things docker so docker how to remove all images i don't want these images anyone help me i don't want these images i want to remove all images at a time what is the command anyone all images first how to get uh, only image ids how to get uh, only image ids what is the command i want to get only this image ids if you want to you know write docker rmi i can use uh, image id one image means i can pass uh, image id but here see one two three four five six seven images i want to remove all images at a time what is the command anyone Docker RM. First, tell me. I want to get only image IDs. What is the command? Only image IDs. I want to get only this image IDs. Anyone? Only image IDs. Daily type. Daily execute just like What is this? Docker. Hmm. Only images. Image. Docker image only. Image. Hyphen A. A means all. Q means all. Q. Q means only IDs. IDs. Docker images. Now see here. Docker images only. Now tell me command. Now substitute docker rmi mm. next image uh, id dollar symbol dollar substitute okay da docker da images iphone aq close in uh, that now see here deleted clear the screen docker images see here deleted all images okay now docker PS iPhone yeah. Now how to remove all uh, containers? Tell me. I remove all. Mm. If you want to get only container IDs, what is the command first? If you want to get only container IDs, if you enter the question, Docker only container IDs. PS Q. A means all, Q means A only container IDs. Next, if you want to remove all containers, Docker, RMI or RM? RM. RM. 
If 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 it is running means we can use anyway. All are stopped only, right? No name. Uh, Docker, ps hyphen aq. Yes hyphen aq. That's it. Now see here, all are deleted. Docker, ps hyphen aq. Now got it. So these are simple only. Just we need to practice. Okay. Now anyway, vi Docker file. Now this is my Docker file. This is my Docker file. This is my Docker file. Escape colon x. Okay. Now I want to create the image. Now tell me. So first I am going to create a image. How to create a image? Our own image. Docker. Docker. Build. Mm. If you want to create, if you build the image, Docker build. Iphone t. Image name. Okay. For example, test arg. Okay, colon. Here I am using version v1 or 1, 1.0, anything. And data. Any doubt here? I am not going to do anything. Just I am creating the one image. Docker build iPhone T test ARG and also version v1 current documents. Okay. Now image is ready. Now now see observe here so total how many steps eight first already you know second downloading and third one see tag name devops and uh, so now i print arguments bill number and also run print the tag this is the tag name and uh, so run bill number and this is environment variable and uh, so everything uh, okay now i want to know whether it is really set or not, arguments and environment variables. So there is one command, right? Docker inspect command. See now, see here, Docker images. One image is created. Now see here, so test arg v1, test arg v1. Okay. Now this is the base image. This image I used in this, uh, in this my own image. That is the reason. First it is downloading this one. Next created your own image. Now docker inspect docker inspect and also image id or test arg test arg colon v1 colon v1 now if you go here now we can check all these things you set some environment variables you set something right so now go down if you observe here see here what is the tag name what is the tag name you set? DevApps. And what is the build version you set? V1.0. V1.0. Now go down. Same way environment also we can see somewhere. ENV. See here environment variable. See here this is the ENV, right? Environment variable. And ENV underscore name equal to production. Prod. I given prod. Now, so I want to update this version. Now I want to update this version. This is the arguments, right? I want to update this version. So how to update this version? Now try it. So now V1.1.0, right? V1, what is this? Here I given uh, V1.0. Or I want to tag name DevApps. I want to update this one. Okay. So how to update? Now same story. Now this is the image, right? Now see here. Try to understand. Docker images. Now I am using same command. I am using same command. Docker build iPhone T test a test ARG V1 and uh, so I want to update I want to update tag name that is in my uh, arguments name right iPhone iPhone build iPhone iPhone build iPhone ARG equal to iPhone iPhone ARG equal to which name you want to update tell me we have two arguments two arguments so I am going to update uh, this tag name now got it. Clear. Anyone any doubt here? Okay. Now I am using also this is dev. This is for example dev SRV. Just I am using SR dev server. Just assume I am updating dev server. 
for dev server purpose i created this image so actually i given dev apps now i want to update that tag name now i want to update that tag name now see here same command only docker build i am using same i am using same version and uh, so only i want to update uh, so arguments now see here again it is done now see here docker images docker images now it is created one dangling image what is this why it is created anyone guess it just now we discussed right when dangling image is creating create out in there now see here so they are created when they are overwritten written with the new image with the same name and same tag if the name is no previous a name is no other name is no got it first time while creating the image i given same name deposit name image name same version now i updated the now i updated now i am updated uh, so same name i given same name i given same versionals i given just i updated the only env sorry only arg arguments right build arguments so dev srv earlier it is earlier it is dev apps so if you see here earlier it is uh, dev apps right now i updated to so earlier it was uh, dev apps now check it whether really updated or not Docker images and uh, so Docker inspect Docker inspect now same test arg arg colon v1 colon v1 now go here now go here now go here uh, now see here updated or not version 2 now whatever you want to just i updated a tag name suppose if you want to update the build number next release i want to update the build number same image same image if you want to update build number so we will get it now got it guys anyone any doubt here so while creating the build docker build only so we can pass build iphone what is this so this you need to command iphone iphone build arg and uh, so name equal to whatever you want we can set it whatever you want we can set it now same way how to update now this is run right now env is created env environment variables as of now what the environment variables so here i given prod here i given prod right env equal to i given prod i given pro where is that dev server here where is this prod see here env environment env underscore name equal to prod now let me create container let me create container already your docker image is ready so i am creating one container see here docker docker run iphone it iphone it test arg colon tag name v1 that's it so now i am in container now i am in container check it echo echo dollar what is the name here environment name given i name here env underscore name env underscore name env underscore name see here what environment variable it is coming while creating the container prod right so now we can easily understand this is a prod container this is a prod container for example i want to update this container so initial i given prod now i want to change something for example stage this is a not prod actually this is a stage this is a stage environment now how to update this one how to update this one while creating container while creating container now we'll see mm, control pq now control pq now see here uh, docker same command docker run docker build docker run on right docker run iphone 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 e n v environment variable and uh, so i given environment equal to what is the name for example this is not prod this is a stage this is a stage or this is a uat uat or this is a dev 
whatever you want that is your wish i changed so this is the dev this is the dev see here docker run iphone it iphone iphone docker run iphone it so this is same and iphone iphone env and environment variable name this is the key and this is the value dev what is happening failed to create task for control failed to create unable to start container pos not found in the path unknown error response from the failed to create task okay now i am using docker anything iphone iphone syntax correct or not first check the docker ps iphone a so now this is running right now what they are saying error response from the demand failure to create task for container failure to create so oci ba first apply environment then you try to give the image name even after slash bin bash at the end uh, no that okay that is slash bin bash now check it clear docker docker now i am in container right echo echo dollar echo dollar what is the name env underscore name now see here earlier prod now it is in dev environment earlier it is prod now it is in dev environment so now if you whenever if you want to change so this is sometimes we need to remember only to so iphone iphone so this is when we are using this one while build the image and uh, so environment variable while creating the container so docker run docker run iphone iphone env environment variable and whatever name we given same name name this is the key this is a key and uh, key equal to and value remaining story same iphone it it and ift image name image name and tag name tag name and uh, so what are directly we are connecting right bash i think this is mandatory i don't know let's check it bin bash bin bash that's it clear so these are the this is uh, while creating image we are passing arguments while creating container we are passing uh, say environment variables if you want to overwrite right? so that one only we discuss right so that only we discussed so when it will come so env and when will it will go arguments defines variables user pass the build time so arg and all we are passing build time and envr we are passing container runtime runtime means while creating container runtime means while creating the container and the same way you know right uh, user now clear guys anyone any doubt here arg and arg and environment variable set environment variables and uh, use build time variables while building the image if you want to set any arguments so that case we go for arg and uh, while creating runtime while creating container if you want to update if you want to set uh, some environment variables and that case we should go for env i hope you got it guys anyone any doubt hello clear Ashrina, Srikant. Srikant. Yes. Okay. Now there is one more set user and group ID. So set user and group ID. 
so user means uh, the user instruction set the user name or uid user id and uh, so optionally if you want to we can set gid group id to use the default user and group for the remainder for the current stage the specified user is user is used for run instructions at runtime and run the relevant entry point and command and all so generally uh, you know right uh, so if you want to you know right jenkins uh, you know right jenkins uh, so in jenkins uh, i created jenkins container i created jenkins container now come to here try to understand control pq docker rm iphone f docker rm iphone f dollar iphone aq yes i removed all so now i don't have any container and uh, so jenkins i am going to create uh, so jenkins container how to create jenkins container guys so let me come to here let me come to here mm, va for ls so m e m m e move command docker so docker one one docker one okay so va docker file i am going to update docker one or docker anything escape colon. just one file i renamed now i have two files renamed right so va VA first check it. I need Docker image. Docker search S C A R C H Jenkins. I am going to create Jenkins container and how it will work. So last class we used right Jenkins this one right correct image. Okay. Now go to here. Clear the screen. VA first I am creating Docker file. Docker file edit. Okay. Insert. Now I am using from from i am taking uh, which is image jenkins image which is image jenkins image and uh, so after create i am taking uh, so jenkins i want to create jenkins only right okay now remaining story same only so run i am using run command so i am using run command echo whatever you want we can pass it once a uh, jenkins container is created i want to you know right uh, so update i want to install something for example i want to run this command echo just this is echo only don't confuse here again i am using run apt iphone get update what is this command guys you know right what is this command what is this command apt iphone get update means what is happening Linux command, right? Updating the updating the packages. Updating the packages. Don't confuse. This is simple only. Updating the packages. Okay. Just escape. Now see here. I create. I am taking Jenkins image. I want to create also Jenkins. Once a container is created, in that container, I want to execute this command. So apt get update. I want to do update command now whether really it is working or not now see here docker build docker build iphone t iphone t jenkins colon one and the current directory so now see here i created one image my docker file is ready and with the help of docker file i created one image once a container is created, I am trying to execute one command apt get update apt iphone get update iphone y update means just updating the package only. I am not going to do anything or if you want to install anything we can install or if you want to update any package we can uh, you know right uh, so install the package and all. Permission now see here list directory list directory variable bpt list partial is missing acquire permission is denied permission is denied unable to update the executing this uh, unable to executing this uh, command so i am this is a regular user okay 
so generally for regular user uh, so there is no permission to execute this and all now i am going to use user there is a one uh, there is a one instruction is there see here va va docker file va docker file insert escape insert okay now i am going to use uh, so i am going to use there is a what is this uh, instruction user user i am using root user i am using which permission root user i want to run each and everything only root only i want to execute each and everything root only now escape colon x one more thing, one more thing. just just there are place sudo uh, last last or else again get same error insert before it will be a place sudo anything you need just added user root user root user root and just i am executing update command i am just executing update command okay escape colon x where is this what is happening insert escape should apt get update okay insert escape colon x save and exit just added user user is the one instruction i added root user now escape colon x save and exit now i'm creating also one more image docker docker build iphone t okay so i'm using jenkins one colon v2 and current directory now see here sudo not found sudo also he don't know container he cannot identify one second let me check first let me remove sudo we'll see which error we are getting so same errors we are getting real time also how permission errors when using the docker build file yes sir. I have build file issues. Mm -hmm. What they are using? All fine. Install. Git. Permitted bin. This is no useful. APT install enable to locate the executable Java. Okay. APT install locate executable library one more thing try to open our backup no, just open it and there in place of sudo replace with slash bin bash i can see Just enter it. Just enter it. Okay. In place of sudo, replace with slash bin bash slash bin bash space hyphen c. No, no. That, that remove slash. Remove c. space c. Space, space hyphen c. That is the command. Okay. You try it once. Here they didn't get I read somewhere. Okay, first we'll see. Escape bin bash hyphen C APT get hyphen Y. Oh, people are doubt what is this? First it will try to execute. If it is executing, we'll explain that. Escape colon x Docker build uh, 
updated right apt get command interface where is this the image now oh, see i think executed docker images docker images three colon no no where is three I think dangling got created. Even not created. Not created. Even not created. What it is saying, right? APT run update. APT iPhone get option command install remove package. Same command, right? APT iPhone get update iPhone Y. Correct only. What it is saying update any typo mistake correct on that. See, see even Jenkins are not having permission first of all what will you do just to go to open docker file maybe small slight variance point. first of all remove that update first I'll tell you enter it even remove that line last line last line Even remove the user root also. User root also because they want to know right. It will create automatically. Everybody know that. Mm, it is already run. Run. But but here after after container creation, if you install git maven, it won't work in Jenkins. For that only we are adding user root. Uh, do that one. After creating container manually, if install it, it will work. That is our concept. Here, don't apply it. At the time of image build, it won't work. That is the problem with Jenkins only. They are correct only. Uh, you want, they want to show you want Docker build iPhone T Jenkins 4. Jenkins typo else. Anyway, that is image only, right? Same image we have to give it. Uh, Docker, same name, uh, images. Just created same image. Jenkins, J, okay. Now I'm using R. Same thing. Whatever, anyway, it is created. I'm going to use. Now see here. Uh, Docker, Docker run. Mm, this is a. D, I, 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 D. No, no, I P, T, I P T, small port. You are giving capital P. Automatic map uh, four. Okay. That's it. it. Now, so Docker P S I P T. Now container is created. First, try to connect that container. What is the command? If you want to connect the container, anyone? Docker E X E C. Docker E X E C. This is a mostly they are asking. Okay, iPhone IT. Okay. Now, so here uh, LS, uh, and if you want to create any file, uh, everything it is working fine. I am going to but update touch TOU. Uh, now, see here, cannot touch uh, permission is denied. Some basic commands it will work. So for it won't accept majority of the things. Here, for example, uh, see here we don't have permission. Now, what I am going to do, I am going to add uh, so root user. I am add user in root in Docker file. I am going to add user root now. Try how it will work whether same error we are getting or we are able to create files. Uh, we are providing some permissions. Uh, control PQ now. See here, VA Docker. VA Docker file mm, press edit now I am using user insert user just I am giving root now try to hear escape colon before root what is the error after adding user root how it will work just check it so clear the screen here the docker build iPhone T Thank
seconds five colon i am using five only 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 no it tag right going to yes five colon five i am giving five colon five tag now docker run i fun d i fun p and jenkins इमेज ना क्लियर द स्क्रीन डाकर् Now see here, uh, LS every anyway minimum commands all are working. Now touch space and uh, so test dot txt. Now see here earlier we are uh, we are facing some error right permission denied and uh, see here mkdir mkdir I am going to use uh, so devops directory. So earlier without root uh, we are getting permission denied. Now added user root. Uh, now I am giving provide so. we are giving uh, access levels we are giving access root user only i am giving root permissions now try even to install git and maven also it will work apt hyphen get update update now i am using hyphen y before adding user if you try this command we are getting permission denied now see here we are able to run all commands i am providing a root permission i provided root permission now if you want remaining story same only whatever you want so apt get install get iphone y if you want to install any package also if you want to install any package also see here apt get and install git iphone y whatever you want we can install already it is up to date only now see here earlier uh, here which user we can see before adding root jenkins jenkins user now see here prompt also it is showing root now prompt to come to root permission root user now whatever commands you want to execute everything we can execute everything we can execute i hope you got some idea right so why you go for uh, why you need to add user in docker file so if you want to do any commands uh, i mean servers like uh, jenkins uh, tomcat any servers default it is coming jenkins user in jenkins user we cannot do anything we cannot uh, do any we cannot run we cannot install any package we cannot update package we can't do anything so if you want to do we want to update you want to install some packages and all we need permissions right now added user root user root got it clear sinadara clear Yeah, clear. Okay. So that is the purpose. We need to add a root. We need to add a root. So mostly in uh, so if you want to write uh, in inter interview, mostly they are asking, can you write a sample Docker file? Whatever you know, whatever you know, can you write a sample Docker? Means I hope uh, now we know some Docker instructions uh, from you know, and uh, so what is run? What is copy? You know, add and CMD entry point. and entry point work dir next env arg next user see here so with the help of this now we can easily write any docker file now we can easily write any docker file so in interview they are not expecting uh, so like uh, 100 lines or 50 lines at least uh, are you able to write docker file structure also so you take whatever you know so now what is the purpose of from from is first line okay base image and if you want to install update any package we can use run command or if you want to copy files from host to container path we can use copy or suppose if you want to download any file from remote server we can use add and if you want to execute any command if you want to run anything and so we can use cmd entry point and work directory any environment variables if you want to set environment variables we can use env 
and if you want to set arguments if you want to pass any arguments if you want to update bills and all user uh, arg user so we can easily write any docker file now if you go to here so there is many example available here try to practice try to execute okay next class i will show you few more things and how to write docker file and all commands already added most of things and uh, so try to execute it okay so next class we'll see very very important concept what is docker volume and how it will work